the Ford Focus RS500 and the Porsche Boxster. On the face of it, you couldn't get two more different cars, but delve a little deeper, and this is a closer match than you might think. Okay, so let's face the facts. This is a rear-wheel drive, two-seater sports car, and this is a front-wheel drive, hot hatch. Two completely different ways of going about a performance car. But they both cost exactly the same, 35 and a half grand. And while this one has 90 more horsepower than the Porsche, the Porsche weighs about 130 kilos less. So here's the challenge. We set up a short, twisty, fast section of track. And what I want to know is for a driver like me that doesn't claim to have the skills of Lewis Hamilton, which of these cars is easier to extract the performance from? In other words, which is the fastest? Right, so we're going to have a go in the RS500 first. Now, if I'm going to be honest, this competition should be over before it's even started. This has got loads more power, 90 more brake horsepower than the Porsche, better power to weight ratio, it's quicker 0 to 60, but, and this is a big but, all that power sent to the front wheels. And it's been raining today, so it's a drying track, and let's hope it doesn't waste all that power in wheel spin. wasting a bit of power there and understeer but once it puts its grip down and you give it full throttle this thing is shockingly fast it's fantastic so much fun to drive right so the RS500 was pretty impressive but now it's the Porsche's turn immediately it feels a world apart I'm sitting so much lower in this sportier position but you have to remember this is only the entry level Boxster so it's only got 255 horsepower it's going to lag behind the focus in straight line pace but nonetheless let's give it a go and see how it gets on completely different experience to the RS500. In a straight line, the focus makes this thing feel slow, but it more than makes up for it in the bends. It's just so beautifully balanced, no hint of understeer. I've got a feeling this could be close. In the interest of fairness, we did two runs with each car and took the best run from that. I can now reveal that the Porsche did it in 55.36 and the Focus did it in 55.01. That's less than a third of a second in it. So what have we learned here today? Well anyone that thinks a proper performance car has to be rear wheel drive obviously hasn't driven the Focus RS before. And we've highlighted the importance of lightness. The Porsche might have a 90 horsepower deficit but it still managed to keep up. Which one would I take home? Well personally I think 35 and a half grand is a little bit too much to pay for a Ford Focus so it'd have to be the Porsche. 
but perhaps in a slightly more subtle colour.